back, you whiskey-loving legends, to another episode of Was It Worth a Whiskey? Today, we're going to be looking at the Tamnavulan uh, Sherry Cask. Now, this one um, is a particular favourite of mine, uh, being that when uh, COVID first started, I was actually locked down in the Canary Islands uh, for about three months. And when I say locked down, I meant actually not allowed out of your house only to go to the supermarket and we had the police up and down and, and i'd go for it um but we were allowed to the supermarket to get food and um i found this whiskey this tamarvulan sherry cask um at the supermarket and it's for 22 euros and because i was locked down and i couldn't really do much at home i, I was drinking a lot of whiskey um so this became a particular favorite because well it was uh tasted okay and it was bloody cheap um, which is good when you're not working right so i thought it was very relevant to uh do a whiskey review on it uh, being that you know i obviously drank quite a bit of it so um i thought I would, that's what we'd do anyway so it's um a tamarulin is a space side distillery um this is a sherry oak edition i think they have a double oak and they have a red wine cask as well from their standard ones. Um, um, this particular one, um, I think is batch number 30502. And it's distilled, or it's, it's uh, matured in American oak cask. And then they've said they finished it off in three types of Spanish sherry cask. They don't say specific what type they are, whether a first fill, second fill, a Rosso, PX, but three different types. And so that's about it. Um, there it is, there's the color, it's 40 ABV. Um, obviously colored, obviously chilled filtered. Um, obviously bloody cheap. On the nose, it, like on your nose, you straight away, as soon as you open the bottle, you can smell that sherry. Um, I get um, orange, Vanilla, um, sultanas, I get a good whack of banana in it as well, um, milk chocolate. Um, I do get a bit of that um, alcohol notes. I mean, it's a NAS, no age statement, um, probably fairly young, I would say. But um, the nose is, is you know, it's just quite a lovely nose just to, to, to smell as well so on the palate first um, it's smooth like uh, it doesn't it doesn't taste or for the smoothness it doesn't taste like a young whiskey um, I get raisins vanilla a bit of gil ginger and a very, very slight oakiness. Like, it's not spicy at all. Um, there's only a very slight bit of oakiness from the cast there. But super easy to drink. And this is probably why I, I mean, probably over the three months, I probably bought four or five bottles of it. Bit of an alcoholic I am. Mm. So, on the finish, um, you get a sweet spice. So there's really not any bitterness to this whiskey. It's just a sweet spice, um, bit of raisins on the finish too, and a bit of honey. Look, it's not a long finish. It's not a complex whiskey, um, but it's, it's extremely drinkable, um, especially when you compare it to other 22 pound bottles of whiskey or 22 euros or whatever you get it for um, so that's it pretty much on a score I'm going to give it a nose of 85 points I'm going to give the palette of 83 points and I'm going to give the finish of 83 points giving a total score of around I'm going to bump it up a little bit to 84 points 83 84 um, but what's more important, and probably the reason why I chose to do this um, Tamavulan uh, sherry cask on Was It Worth a Whiskey, 
is its value for money or the was it worth its score. So obviously it's going to be a thumbs up because I know I've bought this bottle over and over again. How much of a thumbs up? Well, I'm going to go on the price for 22 quid, 22 euros. Don't think you can get it in Australia at the moment. You can get the double cask, but not the sherry cask. Um, and save in the US, I don't know whether they're going to take it there or not. Um, so I can only say really the Europe or UK. But for that price, for me, it's a solid 7 out of 10. Thumbs up, value for money. Um, if you want a drink and uh, you haven't got much money, and you see this on the shelf, well, and you like a bit of sherry flavor, it's a bloody winner. All right, so till next time, see you later. Cheers.